And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a single player game or a puzzle game um, called Zip City. Now, Zip City is part of a series of games called LogiQuest. This is from Asmodee, and they are moving into this arena, which has been held by ThinkFun and a few other puzzle makers who make these solitaire puzzles where you try to get things to happen. In this one, it's a fun concept in Zip City. You are trying to have marbles roll down and go into the right positions by putting different square pieces in play that have different curves and zigzags. And so you put the right things in the spots, open it up, let the marbles roll, and see where they go. A pretty simple concept, and in fact, this is the simplest of these four games. Let's take a closer look. The game comes with a bunch of colored marbles here. It also has different pieces that are all very distinct pieces of different colors and ways that they go. You're gonna get a bunch of puzzles. So for puzzle uh, one here, for example, you would put this piece here in this spot and they fit right in like that. Then we put this piece down here like that. And then we would find the two blue pieces here in the bottom and I need to put these somewhere in this grid. I'm also gonna start with the blue marble here and I need to get that blue marble from the top to this spot here. And I'll do that by picking this up. Okay, well that didn't work at all. So I need to put these in. So I might say, hmm, maybe if I do this and then this. Will that work? No! Okay, well probably I need to do this and then this. No, still didn't work. What if I put it that way? Yes, it worked. Okay, now you'll notice on this card here, there's a 19. That's because if you need a clue, there's a bunch of these tiles that come with the different numbers and you seeing that doesn't spoil anything. So you would look up 19 and it would show you which one goes there. And so because of that, you'll be able to, it gives you a hint, but if you look at the other side of the card, it gives you a solution for this puzzle. The puzzles can get more elaborate and have multiple marbles in it. They, and this is not an actual puzzle, this is just something I put together. But you can see here, they might have them all so that they have to go in a specific row. You can also have sometimes marbles that will be set near the track that will then be bumped and fall onto the track so that they move, but depending on the marbles having to hit them. So that's pretty much it. The game comes with 40 different puzzles that you have to go through. As with all these games, everything is storable inside the case. The case closes in a pretty, <laughs> It takes a bit for you to figure out how it opens. Unfortunately, you have to really stack stuff in here neatly. The storage of this one I didn't find to be as good as the other ones. Putting the cards in, the marbles, which I don't know why these marbles keep making me think they're Orbeez. Uh, you'll need to get a bag for them and everything. So there's not really, I thought of all the storage solutions for these different Logi Quest games, this one is the weakest and I may actually just keep it in the box instead. The other problem with this uh, from a mechanical standpoint, it's fine, but just realize that this that the the slope is a little less than I'd like it to be. I might almost like stick a piece of cardboard just so the marbles come down. You might argue that goes against the spirit of the game. Maybe it's not supposed to pull them down that much, but I don't know. I found, I, first of all, there's, there's, it shouldn't affect any of the puzzles. And sometimes the marble didn't roll down as neatly as it could have. I'm being pretty picky here. Other than that, this is pretty good quality uh, pieces here and the cards. And I really like the hint system that worked really well. So on one hand, with Zip City, I have the fact that I like marbles. I really do, and seeing marbles roll down. It's not the first one uh, game to do this. Uh, Think Fun made one with a roller coaster type aspect, a three-dimensional one. There's been other ro marble rolling games. This one is slightly different in the fact that it almost feels like a slide puzzle, where you put the right squares in the right spots, and it's pretty basic. I didn't find any of the puzzles to be, well, I mean, they definitely get harder, but 
you have to think from it from a logic perspective. Sometimes you have to think, okay, it needs to shoot over. And I particularly like the ones with multiple marbles. That's pretty cool. But I, this was not one where I, I found the hardest ones to be overly difficult. There were sometimes I couldn't figure them out or I needed the hint system to do it. But for the most part, this is a very straightforward one. Um, will you like it? I like it, but I think you can tell just by watching the marbles roll. If that's something that gets you excited, and it does for me, you know this because on our channel we run shoots and marbles, a marble racing thing. I love that. It's one of my favorite things to do. You know, this feels like a less exciting, but that's because I see marbles race all the time, so I had to take that into account. But if it does fit into a case like all these do. It's not based on an intellectual property like some of the others in this series are, but I think this one works nicely. So if you like the idea of marbles racing down and figuring out which path for them to take so that they get into specific endpoints, then you'll like Zip City like I do. I'm Tom Vassell. You're watching the Dice Tower. Dice Tower Judgment approved.